game next weekend against uh, Limerick. They're on a foreign trip out to Lourdes, praying for a miracle. Runners now coming to line for the first division of the four-year-old geldings. And I gather they're off and running. So this is the first of two divisions of the four-year-old geldings maiden. And here they'll be coming to view in a second. Yes, here they go. In front is Brian Dunleavy aboard Hurricane Harmony. Early leader followed in second place by the favourite. That's Golden Loop, the one you sent off at around 7 to 4, 6 to 4 in places. Held up at the moment at the back of the field is Lucky Traveller. The other one out towards the back with Lucky Traveller is Start Again. But soon they'll be coming into your vision. Coming through the gapway on towards fence number one of the 12 all in total in this four-year-old maiden. So it is Hurricane Harmony just about in front. Followed then in second place by Golden Loop. They're being tracked then on the outside in the red Jacket by Houdini Mission, or Houdini Mansion, I should say. That one just collided in the air over that fence with Gillan. So they travel along now to fence number two, Hurricane Harmony. In the purple jacket is right up there, and with him for company on the inner is Jewel or CL. They're one and two. Slight skew if jumped there by the favourite and third goal and loop. And that one in turn has been followed by Gillan. After Gillan on the outside is Houdini Mansion, and then Next up towards midfield is Cahir's Den on that one's inner in the light blue jacket as they come to jump this fence is Sherm Monsieur. Towards midfield in the all yellow jacket for the O'Connor team is Pookie Holler and after Pookie Holler also then held up towards the back of midfield as they take the next fence's start again. Amongst the others also at the back is Ballin Away. That's about three from the tail of the field. And Sage Green and also Lucky Traveller are amongst those at the back of the pack. So about 12, 15 lengths first to last. There's been a steady gallop through the first half mile. And Hurricane Harmony and Brian Dunleavy has a small half length advantage as he goes to the fifth fence. From in second place is Golden Loop. These two just ahead then from the... Chasing pack within third position on the near side, that's Jewel Ossiel. With that one in a share of fourth is Houdini Mansion, and then back in fifth position, the O'Loughlin runner Cahir's Den. Next up after these, also then racing towards midfield, is Gillan and Cher Monsieur, another one towards the mid rank there in the light blue colours, this one racing for the Rob James Yard. So we're heading now towards the end of the first mile and driving along this field in front is Brian DeLevy aboard Hurricane Harmony, followed in second place by Golan Loop. Next up in third position, Jewel OCL. And then in behind the leaders, we've got the likes of Houdini Mansion. Gillan is another one who's not too far away from the leaders, as is Sherm Sure in about sixth or seventh position. So once again, they have come back from behind the grove and now are on the home bend. And we see that Hurricane Harmony has a half length advantage over Golan Loop. They're one and two. As once again, they just make the turn. Soon they'll be coming through the gap to the first of the two fences before the winning post. Hurricane Harmony, Golan Loop. They've been tracked then in third place along the inside by Jewel OCL. After that one, in the centre there, in about fourth in the white jacket with the black disc is Cahir's Den. And then Houdini Mansion, in turn followed then by Gillan, also there towards midfield is Sher Monsieur. After that one, you've got Pookie Holler. So, as the field travelled out to the fence six from home, the order sees a new leader because the favourite Golan Loop has come to jump to the front there from Hurricane Harmony. They're one and two. Third position is Jewel OCL, followed then by Cahir's Den. Between these is Sharon Mishur, and then the next pair up we have on the inside Sage Green, who's keeping company with Houdini Mansion. After these is Pookie Holler, who in turn is alongside Gillan, and then the two towards the back of the field are uh, start again is towards the rear of the field, as is the... Uh 
McCormack Dial runner in the field which is balling away one who has been pulled up is the Roger Sweeney runner the 58 lucky traveller is out of the contest pulled up before the fifth last so they meander around the bend and turn towards the back straight with three fences to jump in this Four-year-old Geldings Maiden, back to lead again is Hurricane Harmony, just in front by a nostril or so from in second place is Golan Loop. And then we've got a group of about five or six who are only a few lengths behind this pair. In third position is the Sam Carling, one of his runners in the race, Jules Ossiel, who jumped well, mistake there, and pecking on landing and doing well to survive with Sage Green when lying in about fifth place. So down the far side, middle of the back straight, they run, entering the final six furlongs of the contest. Ha Hurricane Harmony just about edging it here at the moment from Golan Loop. This pair have been inseparable for most of the journey. In behind then in third place, along the inside there is Jules Ossiel, and then comes Cahir's Den, who is not too far away in a close fourth. Trying to rally after the blunder at the previous fence then is Sage Green. Then Houdini Mansion and Gillan, followed in turn then by the likes of Cher Michoud and Pookie Holler. They're coming into the bend for the final time. Hurricane Harmony still fighting this one out with Golan Loop. In behind in third place, we've lost one that's slipping up the flat there with Cher Michoud. Horse is getting up, jockey yet to rise. But as they turn for home, Hurricane Harmony with Golan Loop challenging all the while. In behind these, we've got the likes of Cares Then Pookie Holler was making good ground when they went out of sight. So as they turn for home, and Gillan, another one produced from off the pace. And now the two long-time leaders, Hurricane Harmony and Golan Loop, have been passed. Gillan and uh, Pookie Holler on the outside are coming there strongly. As they come now to the second last, Gillan for the O'Donnells is in front from the rallying... Uh, Golan Loop in third place is Cahir's Den and then Puki Holler dropping away as Hurricane Harmony down to the final fence. Gillan just with a call here for Try Walsh. Gillan from on the inside Cahir's Den. Golan Loop tries to come back at him. These three from Puki Holler as they go to the finish. Cahir's Den is coming home strongly on the inside. It's Cahir's Den coming there for Bertie Finn. Gets up to get the better of Gillan. It was Cahir's Den. The 45 beating Gillan, then Golden Loop, followed by Pookie Holler, and in behind these in fifth and sixth places, respectively, had the likes of Sage Green, and then start again. The other one completing in about seventh was Hurricane Harmony. And the result of the first division, first number 45, second number 51, third number 64, number 34 was Fort, 45, 51, 64, number 34 was Fort. And the distances were two lengths, two and a half lengths, and a half length. Two lengths, two and a half lengths, and a half length. The second division, there are 13 runners. The runners and riders, number six, Mr. Miss G. Benson.
Over to page number 10, Mr. B. O'Neill. Number 16, Mr. E. Mann. Number 27, Mr. J. W. Hendrick. Number 37, Mr. B. T. Stone. Over to page number 41, Mr. D. Doyle claiming five. Number 44, Mr. E.P. O'Brien. Number 45, 